In this video, I'm going to show you the most lockdown coverage for gun tight and formations like gun tight in Madden 23. This defense is super, super powerful. If you understand the principle of it and you can actually cross apply it to any formation in the game. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. It's got a ton of different ebooks in there. We've got nickel over, nickel 3-3, nickel 3-3 cub, dollar, 146, 236 will, um, all kinds of stuff, big nickel over G. So if you want to get access to everything the patreon ten dollars gets you access to all that you can join by clicking the link down in the description so i wanted to talk today specifically about tight uh but really it, it goes for any any offense um it's really just a principle for making your adjustments and uh and it's going to and it's going to really help your coverage defense so we're seeing a lot of the uh comp madden players kind of shift to a more zone centered meta and I wanted to kind of show you what you, some of the cool things you can do. And zone, I do think you just get better abilities, and they actually do knock the ball out. You're not going to get – this year's game is really hard defensively, in my opinion, um, for a lot of different reasons. But if you can master what I'm about to teach you, you're going you're gonna to find a lot of success. So um, we're just going to get on the field here, and we're going to come out and cover two, Okay. So we're just in cover two here, and I want to show you the main problem with compressed sets, compressed sets. And that is the, the main thing they can do is they can attack the sidelines really well with these corner routes. Like it's one of the best routes in the game. As you can see there, a lot of times it gets over the top of the KO. It's just hard to it's hard to guard that. Another thing that people have another route combination that's kind of popular is something like this four verticals concept, where we do kind of a double seam wheel. You know, so we can attack the flats, we can attack the, the, the sideline, we can attack the middle. And then the last core concept that you see a lot is, this is more of a man beater, but this is slant post. And I've talked about this a lot on the channel. I think this is one of the best concepts in the game for attacking man. All right? Now, if you understand how hash marks work, you can play really good defense. Short side floods, for whatever reason, are super effective. So if I go to cover three... And let's say I flood the left side of the field. That third is going to play the streak, and there's not going to be anybody to play the corner, as you see. Now, if I did that, if I flip my formation and I try to do that to the wide side of the field now, you're going to notice a significant difference. So if I try to flood over here, you're going to notice that that outside third is going to play the corner, as you see right there. He matched the corner or played to the corner. So what this tells me, what this communicates to me is cover three or outside thirds to the wide side of the field are really, really, really good. However, they're terrible to the short side of the field. Okay, they're terrible to the short side of the field. So uh, what's the solution? It's what I call rolled coverage. And I actually started doing this in Madden, I wanna say 13. But you see here that we're gonna go into our packages in nickel 33 and we're gonna to go to the safety nickelback package. Now you are probably going to have to uh, like make some adjustments to your substitutions. Uh, so just keep that in mind, but we're gonna come out in safety nickelback package. So now what we're gonna be able to do is we can take these safeties on the outside and we can create roll coverage looks. So what does that look like? I'm gonna outside third this safety on the left to the left, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna middle third the safety on the right side, and I'm going to outside third the corner on the right. So you see, this is what the player looks like. Now, I can run my double loop if I want to, uh, or my single loop, I guess, where I put a flat, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy down here, walk him down, put him in a flat, to the sideline and now all I have to do defensively if you think about it is basically play you know some type of maybe double flat here and then now I can use her over in here all right so if you take a look at the concept defensively we have a ton of help to the short side of the field where a lot of people like to run their routes so I can help use her in the middle of the field but if you watch this concept to the short side, by and large, is going to be taken care of. All right. Now, you can even take this a step further. Um, you can take this a step further with double Mabel. And 
what Devil Mabel is going to do is we're going to put our flats on 30, our curl flats on 5, and our hook curls on 5. So if I wanted to take this same principle and just kind of think it out a little bit more, this right here is one of the most popular route combos in tight offset or tight. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to third, 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 just like this. And then we're going to purple, purple. So you have two flats. So you have the flats taken care of. The left side, you've got five players on the left side of the field. Most people are flooding the short side. Now what I can do is it allows me to be the fourth defender over in this area of the field. So back to the, the play, flood. If I run this, you see there, like there's not a lot there. There's not a lot there, as you can see. Now the same is true for another popular concept, which is, so let's say uh, they want to run basically bench. So this is another popular play. Make sure my, my safety is being weird. All right. So this is another popular play. So the play is basically this. I can show it to you. So I'll just snap it. And as you can see, that third is going to play the corner. He didn't actually react, but he's there. So how do we user this play? Really easy. You have a yellow zone on the left side, right? So that's going to take the running back initially. So what I can do is I can kind of lurk here and then come back over the middle and take this away in that little box. You always want to be user, in my opinion, in a box where you can actually like kind of actually, you know, so like, for example, what do I mean by a box? I mean, like draw an imaginary box from here to here. So at the snap of the ball, what I want to do, I know I have help on the left side. So I want to jump here and then circle back and come over here. Okay, now how does this apply to like a slant post play? So let's say they run, uh, you know, something like this. Okay, you have a yellow zone in the middle of the field uh, to guard that. So really, if you think it out, how would I user this? Same thing, boom, boom, boom. And now like that slant is kind of hard throw. Um, another thing you can, and, and you can kind of play some, some chess with the yellows. Um, you know, you can, you can certainly play some, some chess. So like, for example, instead of putting a hard flat out here this time, we're going to leave this vert hook. And then what we can even do is something like where we can, I mean, really all kinds of things, but you know, maybe just leave this little five yard vert hook here, you know, and play it like this. What the thirds just help with is help, they help with the, the deep stuff. So like an example of a, of a deep route is, again, that deep corner. Let's say they run the, that to the, to the wide side of the field. So if they try to do that number on us, what you'll see here, obviously the flat's going to be there, but you see how the third plays it? Okay, so that's the idea. And, and from that, you can take away a lot of deep stuff. Um, and then you can kind of force them to play this little bend but don't break. And really what it comes down to is, you know, how's your user? And at the same time, like, how are you giving yourself help in the middle of the field? So one of the ways I do that is we're going to take this linebacker, put him in a hook curl, and then we've got the, uh, or I'm sorry, vertical hook, and then we have the, the slot. And this example can actually roll into thirds uh, against compression. So we could do something like this, where the slot goes into the third, and then you now have a coverage that looks like this. So, you know, again, here to here, and it just takes away a lot of the big stuff, forces them to have to work underneath. So this coverage is super, super simple. Uh, again, all we're trying to do is put a third to the wide side of the field, and then we're going to play with everything else. It's really what you want to do. Um, you know, you can, you can, it's, it's easy to adjust out of this. You know, this is really the coverage. And then we're just putting this third on the left. Why do we put the third on the left? It's for plays like PA seams at a tight offset tight end. When you put that third on the left like that, he's going to help. He'll help bracket uh, any kind of super deep corner. And then you have a middle third for anything bending back over the middle of the field like that right there. 
Thanks for watching the video. For more uh, on this defense, make sure you join the Patreon. It's full ebook explains how to lock down the best formations in the game. Ten bucks gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.